Hello, welcome to the Scratch Coding class. In today's video of the LEGO Mindstorms EV3 guide, we will be building a grabber robot. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and let's get started. These are the pieces you'll need to build a grabber. And if you did not watch the last video, make sure to do so. This is a spur gear and this is a new type of gear. This is called a worm gear and it's a gear used to achieve substantial speed reduction. So when we calculate gear ratio with this gear, we classify it to only have one tooth. So we will be using that today. All the older pieces are pretty straightforward, so let's get building. First step is to get a five long beam, put this piece at the very end, and then get a black friction pin, put it here, get the medium motor, make sure it's facing this way, and then we want to add um, one of these pieces. And then the idea is we connect the two together. So uh, we need this two long piece, and I recommend doing the cross hole section first before you do the round hole like that and we need another one of these pieces put it here and then get your frame and you want to attach it like this and then we need to repeat the same to the other side so five long beam here axe, axle and pin here and another pin here and then get our two long piece and cross hole first like that and that is uh, the frame attached to the motor now we need to make room for the gears so we need to get a five axle put it through this hole and then add these pieces one on each side so one like that and then one here and then we need to add another five axle And now for the actual worm gear itself, so we're going to use these pieces and the idea is we put an axle through here, like so, that connects to the motor. So we need, the easiest way to do this in my opinion is to keep um, holding it like this. So we'll get the yellow piece in first, like that, and then you need to get one worm gear, put it through. It's very difficult, <laughs> like this, perfect. And I just <laughs> made it fall out again, that's not good. Hold another worm gear here, and then put part of it through, and then you need to get a yellow piece, hold it here, and then put the whole axle through. This bit is really difficult. There we go. And that is our worm gear attached. I'm just going to add some more pieces to secure this frame onto the motor. So get one of these pieces, put it here, and then add a friction pin. And then you need to connect it with a too long piece and then repeat the same in the other side. There we go, that's that bit complete. And then we need to mirror this bit we did at the bottom at the top. So we get two of these axles, put them through, and then we're gonna try and attach one of these pieces on each side. Okay, and that is the extra pieces added on. Now we need to add our spur gears. So to do that, we get one of these pieces get a five long axle and you're gonna put it through the middle where there's a round hole and then get this piece and put the short end like so and then you need to get a three long axle put it here and then get a spur gear put it here and we're gonna add a two piece so this piece and then finally add on another one of these angled pieces and that is one of the attachments complete and then we need to add another one of these pieces at the top and I'm just going to repeat that again. And now we need to attach these onto um, the worm gear thing that we just made. So 
this bit's quite difficult so we need to basically push it in like so and then we need to do the exact same to the other side and there we go that is our grabber complete so you can see the worm gear is touching the spur gear and the idea is it will simply just be able to move and now we need to attach this to the uh, brick so we can just get a simple wire for that so we've got the motor connected to port A so we'll give it a quick test so when green flag click move port A clockwise for let's say two and a half seconds and then move it anti-clockwise for two and a half seconds There we go, that's our program and let's say I want it to grab something, so let's say this Lego tar over here. I'm going to add a wait until command here, so that means I can manually control it, so I'm going to wait until the space bar is pressed. Okay, I'm going to hold the grabber, get it to open, get it in position and then close it. There we go, just grabbed an object. And that is going to be it for today's video of the Scratch Coding class. But in the next video, we are going to be adding a driving base to this robot so we can actually get it to move and grab stuff. So you definitely do not want to miss that. And make sure to leave a like and, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.